Uh, evolution is not just the folly that is floating around. It is something that is very dear to fallen man. It is very dear to the evil one because it removes God as the creator and sustainer of all things. It is the most outspoken expression of man's mind rebelling against God by taking him out of the picture. Man declares himself independent of God. God says in John chapter 15, verse 5, Without me, you can do nothing. And man rebelliously answers with Nebuchadnezzar, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty? Or man just responds with Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. That's how the fallen heart is. It wants to take God out of the picture, and it wants to make itself the ruler of all reality. The whole idea of man's free and sovereign will, or in other words, the whole idea of Arminianism in salvation stems from this very rebellion. It is Christians trying to create a halfway position, as it were, between God's sovereignty and an assumed sovereignty of man. That's why they always vague when we try to engage them into a discussion about the sovereignty of God. For example, you ask them who decides whether there will be salvation or not, and they will say, man, well, God has no hand in it. Well, he does. So who is it now? And then they will say God and man work together. So you say, can God save a man when he wants to? They say, no, not without man agreeing to it. And then you ask him, how is that possible? They say, because God never violates the will of a man. And then you ask them, do you pray for the salvation of others? They say, yes, of course. And then you ask why? And they have no answer. If God cannot violate the hearts of man, if God cannot change the heart of man, if God is not the one who saves, why then even care to pray for the unsaved? They have no answer for that. But what they want, they know. Man needs to be in charge. At least he wants to have a say, and not only when it comes to salvation. I mean, the whole gender madness Id idiocy that we're seeing right now, that shows it. Uh, who, they say, who is it to decide? Who is God to decide my sex? Let's rename it gender and have people choose what they want to be. That's another expression where man wants to tell God, I'm sovereign. I do not only decide what I do, I decide which sex I have or am. The, this is the human heart, the unregenerated human heart in its core. It is rebellious against God. 